How about an interesting tip or trick to help you with your 3D prints? Welcome to today's 3D print. So, you got that new nice print surface. This is Print Z. I love Print Z. It is extremely durable. I can literally take my sharpened spatula and hack at this thing with it. And it's never gonna hurt it. This stuff's indestructible. It's probably not. You probably can damage it if you're, if you're silly with it, but you can be particularly aggressive with this stuff. But it does have one problem. <laughs> if you get that layer wrong, the first layer, it can stick too good. And your models can become very difficult to get off. This is especially a problem on less durable um, bed surfaces. On this one, I'm not going to hurt the bed. I'm going to destroy my model. <laughs> I've done that a few times. But on the other print surfaces, like um, BuildTac, um, the orange one that's out there, PEI, anything else, um, some of them are not this durable. You can't take a hacksaw to it, a knife to it, a, a sharpened blade and hack at it. Um, so how do you get the print off? Usually they'll let go if you can get under them. That's the trick. you got to get under them. So let's say you're printing something with a lot of surface area like this. And that bugger is down there. Well, how do you get that bugger off of there? Well, it's very easy and very cheap. Go to your hardware store, even Dollar Tree, it doesn't matter where you go. Get yourself a roll of masking tape. You probably already have a whole bunch of this stuff. So, you take a little piece of masking tape this big. You let it print the skirt. Once it's got the skirt down, you know where the outline of the model is going to be. So let's say this is the outline of the model. You can just take your piece of tape and lay it down right on top of the bed, just like that. So that when it prints the model, the model is on top of the tape, but a bit of the tape is sticking out. Now you have your entry point to get your print off the bed. Take some of your alcohol to keep handy. When the print's done, let it fully cool down. Okay? Then you just peel up the tape like this. Like that. You take your alcohol and give it a little spritz. That'll help work it in. And then you take your sharpened putty knife and you work it in right where the tape is. That gives you a release point, an area where the knife can get in. And then once you get the putty knife in there, you can start wiggling it around and you'll hear it going <laughs> as that plastic pops off that surface. And at some point you'll hit a critical mass and the whole thing will just pop right off the bed. But that tape is your entry point to give you a point. Because sometimes that layer, that first layer is down there so good, it's like it's caulked on. Like there is no gap whatsoever to get your implement underneath there to begin breaking that bond between the print and the bed. The tape gives you that bond, that, that gap. It gives you that entry point that you can work in and get that knife in there. So I hope that was helpful to you. That's today's educational tip on making good 3D prints.